Hello, everybody! It is Goldsboro! Welcome back to Pokemon Emerald! In the last episode, we... What did we do again? Oh yeah, we defeated... Maxi of Team Magma! And we got ourselves to Lava Ridge Town! So... We're gonna explore a little bit of Lava Ridge Town. First off, we talk to this lady. I have here an egg! I had hoped to hatch it by covering it in the hot spam by the hot springs, but it doesn't seem to be enough. I heard it would be best if it were kept together with Pokemon and carried about. You are a trainer, yes? And your Pokemon radiate vitally. Vitality. So what say you? Will you take this egg to hatch? Sure. Good, I hope you'll walk plenty with this here egg. And we received the egg. Um, this egg will eventually hatch into a why not. And why not is basically the, um, it's basically the pre-evolution of Wobbuffet. And really, I've talked about Wobbuffet and Crystal, so you know exactly what it is. Big Berry in this whole sin is... So warm and heavenly. Mm, yeah, ouch! A Pokemon hit my backside. Alright. Something I thought is cool about this is that um in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, the hot spring thing, there's a male and a female one. We draw as much hot water as we need, and yet another hot spring is never run yet the hot springs never run dry. Isn't it magical? These hot springs appear near active volcanoes. Veins of water under the ground are heated by magma to well up the hot springs. Interesting. They're claiming that these hot springs are good for calming nervous tension, reliving aching muscles, solving romantic problems, and attracting money. If people put Pokemon in hot springs, it might be seriously strange. Why, it might be an electric bath, or a bubble bath, or even a lava bath. Um, I... I'm gonna buy some items really quick. Just in case. Ten more super potions. Go in here and talk to this guy. You've come to look at herbal medicine in Lava Ridge? That's rather commendable. I like you. Take this. And we get a charcoal. Charcoal boosts the power of fire moves. So remember how I was being funny and um giving Smokey that miracle seed? Let's give him the charcoal. Alright. Herbal medicines work press me all, but yep. Yeah. Basically, the herbal medicines are really good items, but they lower the friendship of your Pokemon, so no. My wife's warming an egg in the hot springs, that's what she told me. She left two Pokemon at the daycare and they discovered the egg. Interesting. I think it's about time that we challenge the gym. Hey, how's it going, Champion Bound Luke? Lava Ridge's gym leader Flannery uses fire type Pokemon. Her passion for Pokemon burns stronger and hotter than a volcano. Don't get too close to her, you'll burn. Hose her down with water and then go for it. Or, or crush the fire with rocks, but I mean. That's a double battle right there, if I'm right, so... Let's put Terra up front, since Terra will be, like, crushing them. Alrighty. Basically, uh, definitely... Okay, never mind. I was expecting, like, a rock type of some kind, because... You know. But then I, rem I had to remember Numble's a ground type, so... I'm about to say, if that, like... If the, I would say, if that took down Kamui, I'd be very upset. Alrighty. Two more levels, man. Kamui's gonna be amazing. Um. Alright. Terra up front. And then Smokey. Lord, I jacked up hard. Okay. Cool Trainer Gerald and Kendler Cole. Use Takedown on Numble, and then Ember on Kecleon. Kecleon's a cool Pokemon because I really it's, it has a really interesting ability where it changes into the, the type of the move that hits it, and thus, I have officially crushed it. <laughs> oh my god, it has Flamethrower? Uh-oh. Protect. Aha! Get rocked. Alright, let's heal up real quick. Um, I still have soda to pop. Just in case. Um, trying to fight all the trainers, because I need all the experience I need. <laughs> I mean, I need all the experience I can get. Because it, 
All right, Terra, get your attack up when there's no more Pokemon left. Got it. All right, I know you were talking about the sands, and I'm just like, you ain't got shit about the sand because you're a fire type and not a rock type gym leader or gym, whatever. Get out of here, Keegan Michael Key. It's Key and Michael Key, but whatever. Um, okay, I'll battle with you. Um, why? Never mind. <laughs> You're dumb. What is it with gyms and like having metadites everywhere instead of like actual Pokemon? I fucked that up. That's okay though, because I got another battle. <laughs> Why did I use Metal Claw? Ow. Another Strugma. Sulaguma! Oh man. So like Marshalline is gonna just stop the gym. Oh, Savinator's got an items and another potion. Oh, it's a super potion, okay. Alrighty. Well, I'm out of soul to pop, so great. Th that was pointless. Alrighty, so let's find my way around again. Safe stating because I could potentially miss my chance of getting to the gym leader. There it is. Alrighty. Ooh, she's pretty. Welcome. No, wait. Puny Trainer, how good to see you've made it here. I've been entrusted with the... No, wait. I'm Flannery, and I'm the gym leader. Um, dare not underestimate me, though. I've been leader only a short time. With skills inherited from my grandfather, I shall, uh, demonstrate the hot moves we have honed on this land. It's really cool. G uh, gym leader number four, Flannery. She's, you know, even though she's a fire-type gym leader, she's pretty cool. Um... One thing I really like about Flannery is that they really do characterize her very well with the very short amount of screen time that she has. Um, she's going to start off with a Numble at level 24. It's not nothing for Marshalline, even with Water Gun being a very weak move. Um, something you want to watch out for her Pokemon is that all of her Pokemon know Attract, but all of her Pokemon are female, so with Marshalline being female, that just gives me, I mean... That just gives me something of an edge. That way, I won't have, like, these assholes just using that kind of shit over and over again. But, I mean, that shit's still gonna keep going on and on. Oh, crits. Crits forever. GG, Slugma. Next up is gonna be her Camerupt. Her Camerupt is level 26, I believe? Yes. Um, as before, the uh, the evolved form of Nummel. This one, I believe, is actually a lot weaker than uh, Maxi's because Maxi's might be level 25 instead of level 26, but it had a lot more better moves. Doesn't matter though. I'm gonna crush this camera. As said, Marceline is gonna stomp this gym, and you know what? I'm gonna keep going because I'm doing good. Or yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Cause her last Pokemon, Torkoal, is level 29, I believe. 28. 29, okay. You might want to watch out because Torkoal is packed with sunny I mean uh, is packed with overheat. Overheat is a very powerful move. It lowers it greatly lowers your special attack, but Torkoal's equipped with a white herb. Which means that. It'll give one free shot where- COME ON! Okay, light screen wore off, but the sunlight's still going, so... Water Gun still won't be a very good move to use against Torkoal. Um... I'm just gonna keep going ahead with Mud Shot. I believe now... Okay, Torkoal's... As said before, um, it is equipped with White Smoke, so we can't... So it won't be 
losing any HP from- Oh my god, ow. I hate you. That's way too good for this, like, far into the game. I'm gonna go ahead and send out Kamui and hope to God that her psychic will blow it up. She was calm mind really quick, at least. Just in case. Especially because we can, we will probably be able to tank overheat with, um, if we use calm mind. Because now it's... Whoa! <laughs> because now we won't have to worry about Torkoal being any kind of, like, danger. Now that its special attack is way down. And that takes it out. And we defeated Flannery. Oh, guess I was trying too hard. I have only recently become a gym leader. I tried too hard to be someone I'm not. I have to do things my natural way. If I don't, my Pokemon won't be confused. Thanks for teaching that. For that, you deserve this. And we got the Heat Badge from Flannery. If you have a Heat Badge, all Pokemon up to level 50, even those you get in trades from other people, will obey you completely. And unless you use the HM move Strength out of battle. This is a token of my appreciation. Don't be shy about taking it. And we got TM50, which is Overheat. Um, I'm considering whether or not I will teach that to Smokey. It's really strong, but it cuts the special attack quite a bit. Alright, so let's get out of here. Oh, what do you want, May? I'm not battling you. Luke, long time no see. Oh? Well, I visited the hot springs and got the Lobridge Gym Badge. You must have collected good Pokemon. No, I believe you raised some. I guess it would be okay for you to have this. And we got the Go Goggles! With those Go Goggles, you'll have no trouble getting through the desert near Route 111. But wow, Luke, challenging gyms. You're trying hard because you don't want to lose to me, I bet. Luke, I think you should challenge your dad in Petalburg. See you again. Alright. Really quick, let's heal because I have a couple things I want to do really quick before the episode's over. And I want to buy some repels. Because I believe I can buy super repels now, as well as some of my vitamins that I'm never going to use. No, 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 I want to buy super repels. Okay. Yeah, about 50. That should last me a while. Um, first off, let me check and see... Crap. Really quick, I want to see, because there's a special thing that appears at Mount Chimney. I want to make sure it's there. Because then we can go ahead and do that first, before anything else. Okay. There's a bunch of trainers that appear up here. I've been to the hot springs and re refreshed my tired bones. Right now I'm feeling strong. Alrighty. Uh, there's just a, it's just a couple of trainers who appear up here that are worth the they're not super tough, but they are worth the experience, and of course they're going to sit up here and use the tact. Thank you. Because I want to get my levels up, because Kamui's getting really close to evolving, and I really want to evolve him. Alright, phone numbers. That's cool. Lord in heaven double battles, cool. Oh yeah, we also need to go back to Fall Arbor Town. Because, uh, we have to give the meteorite back to, uh, what's his name? This was not a good matchup. I did not pick the bestest ever team. However, I think I'll be okay. Because Meryl's dumb. The funny thing is, I was actually hoping that Flannery didn't use, um, her white herb because I was gonna steal it so I could use it. Oh, but, oh, oh well. I think it's it. Oh, never mind. There's this bitch. And I believe that is all of, um, all there is of, uh, the Mount Chimney people. Yeah, alright. One last thing I'm gonna do. Alrighty. It's this thing. It's a nugget! Bunny! Alrighty, guys, so that'll be it for this episode. Next time, we are going to check out the desert, as well as um, do a few things that we can do with our, um, with our newfound power of strength. See you guys then.